But if you close your eyes Yo guys, Mental Gamer here and welcome back to another video. To start with, I just want to say sorry if this video is out a bit late. I've got quite a lot of stuff going on lately and it's all just really manic. Also, I know that Peter Parker Free Roam is basically deconfirmed, but in this video I'll be talking about those sections of Peter gameplay that we do get. Also, shout out to Brian Ingold for his suggestion of this video and also his ideas that I'll be using throughout the video. And that video is Marvel Spider-Man PS4 Peter Parker gameplay ideas. With all of that said, let's get straight on with the video. So the first thing that I would want for Peter Parker gameplay is apartment free roam. So this could kind of make up for the fact that we don't get free roam outside as Peter, if that is the case. And so it could be like The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but we get various new things to do, such as repair and upgrade our costume at the desk. And maybe we could even get to choose different sections of the suit to upgrade to the next level, or even customise it if that's possible. This would be a really cool and unique way of implementing upgrades as well, and would also make us feel more like Peter. One of Brian's ideas was that we could get the ability to use the laptop. Now I think it would be cool if we could search ways to improve or adapt our web fluid or web shooters by searching up different chemical formulas or something like that. And maybe we could also search our enemy's scientific weaknesses. So for example, going up against Green Goblin, maybe Peter could Google how to implement EMPs into a web fluid or something crazy like that. Another one of Brian's ideas was that we could look at the photos in Peter's apartment, such as the college photo, and play through a flashback of that memory. Now I think that this would be best implemented for the first time we explore the apartment and it would be a really interesting way of getting backstory and history of Peter. Another thing I would like for Peter gameplay is for his outfit to vary. Now I know it's a bit odd including Peter's outfit on this list but most Spider-Man games we've ever had that include Peter have kept his outfit the same throughout the whole game. So even though I guess he's meant to be poor, I'm sure he would probably have another outfit. So as Peter is such an enormous part of this game, Insomniac could put more time into his costume design and make different costume designs for different days and stuff like that. This would give much more realism and immersion to Peter's character and really make him feel alive. Another one of Brian's ideas for Peter gameplay is that we could use his phone to manage relationships with Aunt May and MJ, for example. Now this links with my first person idea from my previous video, so go and watch that if you haven't already. Now I think that this would be a really awesome idea and make us feel much more involved in Peter's life as well as Spider-Man. It's also a really great way of developing all character relationships. Now it would also be cool if we could access a to-do list from his phone and read through some past messages from different characters because that would be an awesome way of getting background information between two characters and stuff like that. And maybe we could even do all of that as Spider-Man as well. Finally, I think it would be really cool if we could actually use Peter's bracelet web shooters at some point in the game. And to be honest, it's most likely going to happen considering Insomniac have actually implemented that into the game. So I think it would be awesome if when we're walking through the street, someone needs to be pulled away from a car or something like that. So we have to web them and pull them towards us and then quickly hide our face so no one sees who we are. That's just a small idea which I think would be really cool for the game. So that is the end of this video everyone. I'm sorry it's a bit short. And I'm sorry if the videos feel a bit odd lately. It's mainly just because I'm really waiting for some good details on the Spider game. 
and also on Venom and the Avengers project and all of this different stuff coming up. So don't worry guys, there are great videos coming soon and I just want to say thank you all so much for the support. As always, leave any suggestions in the comments and also comment your ideas for Peter Parker gameplay. Today I've got shout outs for Mikhail Kanlita, Waru Boy, Bacon for Life 31, Spider Donut, Drafty Jupiter 17 Grayson, Mustafa's Cringy Brothers and Co, Gabrielle Peters, and Ben Keeling. So thank you to all of them for their comments and support. And also thank you to anyone who likes, comments or even watches my videos, it all means so much to me. So without any further ado, that is the end of this video guys. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Mental Gamer, over and out.